do you and your partner have shared pleasurable activities together? I'm Dr. Kristen Kopaz. We've been working on the six week relationship challenge. And my final question for you is what are you and your partner going to be doing together when this challenge is done? If you haven't taken the challenge, take a look back six weeks ago, start there and work with your partner on adding more activities together. Hopefully over these six weeks, you've spent an hour every week together, really just having some dedicated time without distractions. And if you've had significant changes, you've noticed things, put it in the comments. I really want to end with this idea of what do you do from here? Do you have shared experiences that are fun? Or are most of your shared experience more roommate activities or parenting activities? A lot of times we do get so busy and so tired that the only activities we're doing together are things like planning out lunches for kids or uh, taking the kids to soccer practice. Or if you don't have kids, it might be you know, deciding who's going to clean the floors this week. And that's not really the best <laughs> for encouraging long-term relationship enrichment. So when I talk about activities you can do together, I'm thinking about things that are pleasurable for both partners. So if one partner loves to plan trips, but the other one hates it, that might not really count as your shared pleasurable activity. Or if one person loves football and the other one says, well, I'll sit with you during it because I love you, but it's not really my thing, then it might not really be a shared experience that's pleasurable for both people. So trying to come up with something that the two of you can do together that really allows you to have that shared experience and dedicate some time to spending with each other could be free, like taking cooking lessons on YouTube videos uh, on a regular basis and having a, a set day and time that you do that every week. It can be more expensive. It could be taking golf lessons together. It can be lots of different hobbies or outings, but you really need to talk with your partner and see if you can find something. It may even take a few trials, but hopefully you'll have fun doing that, seeing what it is. Remember what brought you together in the first place. What are things that you both enjoyed, you know, your first weeks and months of dating? What activities might you have always both wanted to learn um, that you could do together now or plan for? Try to take some time to talk with each other about where you're going to go from here moving forward so that time together doesn't end at the end of this six-week challenge. Really come up with some great ideas to be able to bond with each other, have something pleasurable to look forward to that you're doing together and not just side by side or because it makes the other person happy, but really trying to see, is there anything you haven't thought of yet that you both might enjoy a little bit? It may not be your absolute favorite, but if you can both enjoy it a little bit and you're doing it together, it can create huge gains for your relationship going forward. Please subscribe and you're going to get lots of individualized tips and ideas going forward. You can also check out my website at drkinthebay.com.